Another important part about Excel and Trig is that Excel does everything in radians. And so I'm going to give you problems in degrees. And one of the first things you're going to need to do is put in the degrees and use the radians function to calculate the um, to calculate the angle in radians. Now to go back the other way, all right, if you have radians, use the function degrees to calculate the angle in degrees. And so you can go back and forth from radians to degrees without any problem. So that's not a problem in, in Excel. You just have to keep in mind Excel uses radians. And you'll see this again and again. You'll see examples of me doing it again and again. The other thing about the trig functions, what are they in, in Excel? Well, sine of and cosine of and tangent of. And the inverse functions are anti-functions, the functions that undo what the function did is a cosine, a sine, and a, ta a tan. And so those are pretty straightforward. Um, and if you have the opposite side and the adjacent side as separate numbers and not just a single number, then you can use a tan 2 um, to get the answer, which it takes our two arguments instead of one. It takes a adjacent kind of comma opposite. We'll also use log functions. So the base 10 log is log of x. Natural log is ln of x. Base 2 log, you have to use an extension on the base on the log function with comma 2 to get the base 2 log and that's any base you'll see when you look up what it means um, and then the inverse functions the anti functions for these well for base 10 it's 10 to whatever power for the natural log it's exp of y and for base 2 it's 2 to whatever um, you have there so 2 to the log of x comma 2 is just two, right? And here, you'll, you'll do this later in, in the semester. You'll calculate how many decibels there are in a sound um, using the base 10 logarithm. Uh, you're also going to be able to do, you're going to do averages in this. So you'll do average of and, and give it um, a list or a whole number, bunch of numbers. Um, and that's going to be an important piece because you're going to be, especially in lab, you'll be taking several measurements and you'll be doing the averages.